it's your first time here, kindly subscribe, okay? What's up guys, my name is Marwa and it's your first time to this YouTube channel, I say welcome and today we just want to be talking about, from the title of the video is where next after Mexico. So as I speak, I'm in Mexico. This is where I live, it's a huge, huge apartment, but everybody has his own, you know, his own way. Actually, somebody saying come to the US. And one thing I should tell you is this next month, um, next month, this month actually, I'll be trying to see if I can get a US visa from Mexico. Lima, Peru, Uruguay, uh, Antarctica. Wow, man. Where? Yeah. So I guess if I find people telling me the same area. Trust me, that's where I'll look for the visa. Bro, don't ever go to the US, Argentina or Thailand. Panama, oh yeah, Panama is definitely on my, my travel list, like definitely. Why? It's because that's the only country I can stay for six months with no visa. And I've been to Panama before. Yeah, Yuri, that's Yuri. I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly, Brazil. Uh -huh. I've been thinking about Brazil a lot, and uh, I feel actually, actually Brazil. Yeah, Brazil should be an interesting, like an interesting country to go back to Colombia. So you know, you guys, I can't go back to Colombia and until it's mid October. That's when I can apply for a visa for Colombia. Put a Canada Dominican Republic. Go to China. China, I may go to Hong Kong or Africa. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, man, I'm so I'm so confused to be honest. I just don't know where to go. I just don't know where to go, man. I don't know where to go. North of Brazil. So north of Brazil, which which city? Santiago de Chile. Try Guyana. Somebody says Bahia. Somebody also says uh, Guinea Bissau. Go. Yeah, that's in Africa. Hi, like your videos, so cool. That's Juan. Juan, uh, thank you so much, muchas gracias. Hey Maro, how about Colombia? So I can only go to Colombia after mid-October because I came from Colombia. And you know, if you follow this channel uh, uh, for a long time is, I used to live in Colombia and I was working in Colombia and one day my visa expired, I tried to renew it and the government said no. So I had to leave Colombia. That is teach chat, which is that? That is challenge vi challenger videos. I don't know what you meant. Chad, you meant Chad. Giorgio says Brazil, hot babies, north of Brazil. Which, which cities are in the north of Brazil? Which cities of Brazil? Somebody says, uh, that is Agdias Ak Ak says, hello bro, I'll let you know when I come to the city. Try, uh, try to get to Ireland. Easy life. Yeah, man. I'm so confused. Which, which from Mexico? I don't know where to go, man. So I have to to see what you guys will comment, and from there, then I can go. Somebody says North Korea. Actually, I would love to go to North Korea. Let's just be honest. I would love to go to North Korea, but man, you know, North Korea is not. It's not just a walk in the park. Yeah, let's give a video a like, man. Let's give a video. Uh, Black Wall Street says Peru. Actually, a lot of people have, have been telling me Lima, 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 Peru. Yeah, Peru and Brazil and Dominican Republic. Yeah. So I think, so let me, let me explain, guys. Then you will tell me if, uh, which place to go. I have, I have to be very honest with you in this one. So right now, in my, in my mind, I have like four options in my mind, okay? I have four options. So number one is I look for a US visa. If I get that US visa, I'll travel to New York and maybe Miami, you know? And uh, yeah, New York and Miami, if, if I get the US visa, because it's very difficult to get a US visa. That's my number one. And actually, why do I want to get this US visa? If I get a US visa, it's easy for me to travel to any country because, you know, the US 
has many planes or flights from the US to many other parts of the world, to Europe, to Croatia, to uh, Ukraine, at a cheaper price. That even, for example, going back home, which I'm from Kenya, going back home through the US, it's very easy. But if I go through Europe, it's very expensive, man. At least $2,000. Even like from Mexico, or come to Toronto, Canada. Yeah, man. Yeah, Canada also, man. Canada presents a really good. So that's what I'm trying to see. So that's the US first. If I get a US visa, and the good thing about the US visa is they can give you like they can they can give you, hey man, come to Tijuana. Yeah, I must come to Tijuana before I leave. I leave Mexico. I have to come to Tijuana. That is like a done deal. I have to come to Tijuana before I leave Mexico. I'm waiting for a friend of mine who is one of our subscribers actually. He sent me, man, I gotta give a shout out to him. He sent me a GoPro camera and there's one guy who's also is sending me a watch camera, you know? I wanna be undercover, man, because if I wanna go to Tijuana, I have to be super undercover. Yeah. Giovanni says, how old are you? Man, I'm 27. So let me explain, man, let me explain. Don't kill me, okay? Don't kill me. Somebody saying Spain. You see, if I want to go to Spain, I need this visa they call Schengen visa. Wodomaya, welcome to the building. Yeah, man. I don't know if you guys know Wodomaya. He's one of the biggest YouTubers from, uh, from China. I give him a shout out. And if you can leave this channel for a minute to check his channel, there's no problem, man. Like, very honestly, you can check his channel right there. That is Wodomaya. Yeah. He's one of the biggest YouTubers. I hope you guys have seen his videos. I, they go viral. Yeah. So I'm so confused where to go, man. I'm so confused. Number one is, I met this guy here in Mexico, and he's a filmmaker. He makes really, really good video. His name is Ricardo. If you search on YouTube, R Media, R Media. I don't know, maybe if I have my phone, I can show you. This guy is a huge, is a huge, huge star in terms of production. So this guy told me we can go to Africa and film a movie because I want to produce a movie about my life, man, you know? Oh man, educated cowboy, man. I salute you, man, wherever you are. Man, you keep you keep me strong, man. You keep me traveling. Yeah. So let me let me let me show you these guys. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm super confused, actually. I don't know where to go after Mexico because my days in Mexico, they are running out. And I wanna go to Guadalajara, then I go to Tijuana. But I have another problem in Mexico, why? Right? Man, I I fell in love with some girl here in Mexico. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry to say that, man. Yeah. I have like a girl. I don't know if it's official. It's not official. I don't know, man. But this girl is like, she want to leave her job and travel with me, man. So that has like, you know, it has like tied my leg. My leg is tied. My leg is tied because of that. Because this girl, I met this girl in Mexico, man. She has been so good. She's been taking me out. Man, she buys things. She brings things in the house. She wants your money. Man, she has more money, man. Trust me. She makes, she makes good money, actually. Yeah. And uh, she, like, shopping. She buys everything, man. She pays for I don't know, man. I'm so crazy. I don't know. I'm so confused. So this girl has tied me here in Mexico. That's why even I'm not going away out of Mexico City. That's, that's another reason why I like, and she wants us to go to Africa. She wants us to go and see my mom and stuff, man. We just met recently. Maybe I should show. <laughs> I honestly don't like to show like private life on, on, on like, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, maybe you've seen the picture, the latest picture on Instagram. Yeah, you can see, that is the girl. <laughs> Oh man, somebody donated $50, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop everything. And man, let's let's say let's give a shout out, man, to a I don't know. Let me say your last name. That's Bowen. Yeah, Bowen man, man. Thank you and thank you so much, man. You know, a lot of people ask me how I travel. I travel because people donate dollars to me, like Bowen, and also there's this uh ten dollars actually, you know. That is educated cowboy, man. You guys give me reasons why I show up every, every, every Sunday here. Yeah. You give me a reason why I show up every Sunday. Yeah. You give me a video. 
why I come here every Sunday. So let me let me first go back again, man. But I want to say, man, thank you for fifty dollars. It has long time I received somebody donates fifty dollars to me, man. Yeah, I really appreciate. And man, I really really appreciate. He says, hey, bro, good content. Thank you, man. I really appreciate, man. And I'm I'm sorry to say this, but sometimes when people donate to my YouTube channel, I feel like I owe them something. I feel like. I owe them something, man. I feel I feel a lot. Uh, I feel super humble. So I'm still so confused where to go, man. So I, that's great, Mara. You should keep her. So yeah, man. You see, now there's a problem. I have here in Mexico. I came in Mexico. I thought I was traveling, but I'm trapped here, man. There's a girl here. She really likes me, and we've been going out so far. I think four times now, man. Even sometimes she like she has like to lie. And come and stay here, man, where I live. And she cooks. She, man, she buys things here. Man. Like last night we went out. Yeah, it was Saturday. We went out. She took me to a place in the in Mexico City. It's called Cohiacan. I don't know if you guys know Cohiacan. It's very famous, man. So, you know, actually, somebody's asking me if I like her. You know, actually, I realize right now, let me tell you what I think. This is how I, I, I think about women. For me right now, it does not matter if the girl is beautiful or she's not beautiful. Like, what really matters is, does this girl feel my vibe? Does she feel my dreams? Like, does she fit? Because sometimes, man, I've met super beautiful girls. Let me show you. Maybe this I could show you. I've met super beautiful girls and... Man, Charles, man, Charles B. Thank you so much, bro, for five dollars, man. I really appreciate. It. Let me show you a girl I met. I met some girl. I thought she would be my girl, but I found that some other guy was had dated her before, man. Let me show you this girl, and she's so cute. So, like, I've met super beautiful girls in my life, and I've had like I've dated super beautiful girls in my life, and they go, man, G will, man. Says Mara, Thursday I'm heading to Santa Clara, Cuba this Thursday. And I have some mojitos for you, bro. Oh man, thank you, man. Yeah, if you can, if you can come to, if you can come to, if you can come to Mexico, I will love man meeting you. I will love me. Most of the time I meet my subscribers. Trust me. Most of the time I meet my subscribers. Let me let me show you this girl, man. I met in I met this um Man, she was so beautiful. Actually, she, she sent me her picture. So let me just try to open my WhatsApp and see if I, her name was... Um, and you see, like, these are Colombians, man. They still text me. They still text me, man. They still text me. And even this girl is one of, in one of my videos. But let me, let, me, let me show you the girl I'm trying to talk about. Um, I even forgot her name, man. Mexico. I just have to write Mexico so that she can show up. Man, she was so cute, but it didn't last long, man. So nowadays, for me, I try to consider a girl who 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 feels me, who takes my dreams, who who is there like to support me. I feel like maybe looks is important. It's good sometimes when you walk and people be like, "Wow, that that girl is so cute." But man, you know, if the girl cannot like sustain you, if the girl cannot be there to support you, or she's just there to take your money, or because you have a car or you made it, for example, that's why she's there. Man, she's not the girl, man. She's not the girl, trust me. Let me show you this. I made this. Oh man, uh, Yeah, she's here, man. Look at this girl. You think it's a joke? This, at some point, she was my girl. Trust me, I swear before God. Let me see if she sent me some pictures. Maybe if I didn't, oh, I cleared her messages. But maybe I could find her pictures. Maybe I could find her picture in one of my galleries. But sometimes I try to delete this. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can find, I can find her picture. She was so cute. I met her in Playa de Camel, Mexico. Man. That is Brandon, man. Thank you. It says Jumbo, go to DR, Brazil, and Thailand. You know, I don't really like to go to Thailand. And you see, these are Colombian girls, man. So this girl is my friend, okay? This is my friend. So she sends me pictures 
to approve them so that she can upload them to her Instagram. She sends me a lot of, of her pictures, you see? And she's not my girlfriend, actually. She just wants me to approve, like, this is Colombia, okay? She sends me, like, I was with this guy, but let me, she sent me, like, four pictures, like, four, and she wants me to approve. No, this, this is a different story. She sent me, yeah, her name is Vivian. She has that trust with me a lot that she has to ask me, what do you think about this picture? Is it good? You know? And these are the friends I made when I was in Colombia. Yeah, it's that crazy, man. It's so crazy. So that's what I'm saying, man. I've seen beautiful girls in my life. I'm trying to look for this other girl from Guadalajara. But she's... Um, I've seen super beautiful girls in my life that I'm not fascinated. Like, I'm not scared. I'm not like... Um, I'm trying to see, man. I don't know where she is, man. I don't know where she is. She sent me one, one of her picture long time ago. But if you guys follow me on, on, uh, on Instagram, maybe you see things like this, you know? Yeah. This is Mexico, actually. This is Mexico. This is not Colombia. This is Mexico. Yeah. So this is Mexico. But uh, I'll, I'll say this, man. I've seen super beautiful girls in my life that I really don't care about beauty anymore. I feel like if I find that girl who like supports me, who does not see me as this YouTuber, but he sees me as a guy who, who like we can stay, we can travel, we can support each other. That's what I, I, I check actually. And that's why I don't know where to go because right now in Mexico, I have that girl, man. I see, I look at her and I see how she struggles, man. She takes me places. She's like, let's go. Let's do this. So, man, I'm mean, like, yeah, she needs to cook and clean for you. She does that. Trust me. Even I, I live right here. You see, that's a kitchen straight there. I don't know if you guys can see. That's a kitchen straight there. And trust me, she, she bought even tequila, man. She bought tequila. <laughs> man, she bought tequila. And, man, so... Let me show you, let me show you guys because you're my subscriber. So this is the girl I'm talking about. Yeah. She shows in my house, she cleans, she does everything. This is the girl I'm talking about. So I'll, I'll not say like she's first class. I'll not say like she's that girl who like creates like, wow. But man, she's nice, man. She, she cleans, she cooks, she buys things. And uh, we've been talking with her and she's like ready for she's she's even ready like to stop like her job in december and start traveling you can imagine man. like she's that type of girl like she's so serious like let's just do it me i'm ready man and this is in mexico so it's not in colombia you know it's getting dark I have to be this side because the sun look my background guys this is my background yeah that's my background over there I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, that's my background in Mexico City. That's my background. Yeah, that's my background. So if it gets dark, I'll go, I'll have to go to my room where she works. She's an economist. She works in one of, of, of one of the companies. And what I know is she earns more than a thousand dollars a month. And actually that one in, here in Mexico is a huge deal. Even when I was working in Colombia, the highest they used to pay me was $500. And she's like, man, me, I'm not ready for this. If you good, we good, we are going, man. She's like so crazy, <laughs> man. So, and because of her, she's the one in your video. No, I've, maybe on Instagram, because I've not, I've, she's very shy. She, she doesn't like cameras, so. How old is she? She's, she's 25, 25 years, two, five. So I feel also she's old enough, like she's old enough for a relationship. She's old enough to, you know, to make things happen. She's not that, that type of girl who wants like to explore and stuff and something like that. But apart from that, man, what I say is, I've, I've, I've really seen, yeah, I have my neighbors coming in. <laughs> I think I'll have to change the venue because I'm making a lot of noise, yeah. So I think I'll have to change I think I'll have to think about a place to travel to because it's really crazy. I'm here in Mexico. I'm like tied with her. And um, I want to go to Tijuana. I want to go to Guadalajara. 
And at the same time, I want to travel out of Mexico. And also I have this friend of mine who wants to shoot a movie. And we are planning we should go to Africa and shoot the movie there, you know, because the movie starts from Africa, then it goes to Colombia, then from Colombia, it goes to it goes to Mexico. That's where the movie ends. I'm trying to read the comments. Somebody says Salah or be careful, Maro. You are negra as I was. Yeah, I don't know. So man. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I've seen super beautiful girls in my life. Let me try to show you one girl who was my girlfriend before I met, before I met this other girl. I'm trying to look for this girl, but she's, she's actually not showing up. And uh, so I'm not, like, fascinated, man. I'm not like, oh, oh, she's here. Yeah, she's here, man. Damn, look at that. That is Guadalajara. Let me zoom. Yeah. That is Guadalajara, man. This was once my girlfriend, trust me before God, like she was my girlfriend. But things happened, like very, very crazy things happened between me and, and her and another friend. Like I met a guy, if you saw my last live stream, it was about dating, same girl, she's the girl. So you can imagine, I met a, a guy in the beach, I tried to, to, we are talking and this and this and this. And it, in conclusion, it was like, we've been dating the same girl. But the funny thing is, they had known each other before, before I showed up. So I was this new guy in the new, you know, yeah, you are stuck in Mexico. <laughs> Take her with you and travel together. Actually, that's what I'm trying to think, man, because she has her own, her own money, but I know with time, because she's not working, she'll have to depend on me. But, you know, I'm 27 and I've been traveling like alone for a long time. I've met like really nice people on, on the way, even I had a Chinese girl, you know. And so I'm so confused, man. I don't know where to go next. So that is the big question for today. But uh, I've seen people say I go to Brazil. Some people are saying maybe Peru. And man, some people are saying I should, I should go to the United States and travel. I would love to have somebody saying Panama also. Yeah, Argentina, Thailand, Lima, Peru. You see, Antarctica, somebody saying that, man. I think Antarctica is the end of the world, somewhere very far. So I'm, I'm trying to see, but I would say I can't, I can't book for Thailand. Thailand is not in my list, yeah. I feel like Thailand is that place where there are too many people, too many foreigners, too many visitors, and people just go there for sex, you know. It can be good shooting a video from Thailand, but there are too many people doing that, man. I want to go to places like maybe a pl place where no many people go, you know. I like places, yeah, I'll go to, I'll be going back home, which is Kenya. I'll go to Ethiopia, I'll go to Tanzania, I'll go to, I'll go to Eritrea. Then from there, we can do something else, maybe North Sudan, you know? And also, you know, Uganda is right there. Somebody, cowboy, educated cowboy says Chile. Yeah, Chile has been on my list, but let me explain. Let me explain why it's difficult for me to travel to many countries at the same time. When I want to travel, this is what happens. I go to an embassy. So let's say I go to an American embassy and I tell them I want to go to your country as a visitor. Number one, they ask me is, show us your flight tickets. You know, that's what they ask me. So they will ask me for flight tickets. Then they will ask me for, uh, I'll show them money that I have. Then I'll show them a place I'll be staying, somebody who will be hosting me or where will I be sleeping. So the biggest challenge is the tickets because for example, right now I'm in Mexico City and I want to look for, let's say, Brazil. I want to go to Brazil, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, and the US, four countries. Actually, I, I don't want to go to the US like to, I just have that visa because when I have that visa, it's easy for me to travel to other countries, you know? Because in the U, it's funny, let's say I'm traveling from here to Kenya and the plane gets from Mexico to maybe Miami, then from Miami to Africa, I have to get a visa for that. I have to get a visa. Wow, man, somebody say, Mauricio, thanks, Lay, man, send me $50. I think today has been my best day, man. Mauricio, man, thank you so much. And you guys kindly follow me, follow me on, on uh, follow me on, follow me on Instagram. At least you tell me it's Mauricio, the guy who donated $50, man. You know, I'll take you as a special, as a special, you know, supporter to my channel, man. Yeah. 
this message has been withheld temporarily. I don't know who is that. Some message has been withheld. Let me click show. Let me just show the message. Yeah. Man, Mauricio. Is it Mauricio or Maurice? Sorry, you know, Maurice in Spanish is Mauricio. So man, I'm really sorry to pronounce your name in Spanish. Man, I have to say, man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio, man. You give me a lot of energy to travel around here. So, you know, I would love to have a US visa because it's easy for me to transit through the US. So those planes are cheaper, but let's say from Mexico or from another country, it becomes very expensive actually to go to those places. Yeah. Yeah, somebody says Bora Bora, Austria or Bora Bora. I would prefer to go to Bora Bora Island. Yeah, because I've seen it's really beautiful. So that's my problem, guys. I don't know where to go, but I think before next Sunday, I'll give you, I'll give you maybe one of my countries that I'll have done. Because the first thing is I have to book the flight tickets. I have to book the flight tickets. Then when I have the flight tickets in my hand, that's when I go to to look for a visa to the, in these embassies. I cannot go to look for a visa without flight tickets. And flight tickets, it means I have to pay. So it's like a gamble, you know. I have to pay, then after paying, that's when I go to look for these visas. And you may have these visas and they say, no, you don't have enough proof maybe to sustain yourself or something like that. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a shout out again, man. I feel super humble for those people saying, find a real job. But I've been working for two years in Colombia. I worked in Colombia for two years, but it couldn't pay anything, man. It used to pay me $500, for eight, hours a, eight hours a day, six days a week. That's why I didn't go to Cartagena. That's why I didn't go to Cali. That's why I didn't go, because I didn't have time, man. I used to work in a private company and every day I used to show up except Sunday. And I used to work eight hours a day. So from 1 p.m. to 9, 10 p.m. You can imagine every day except Sundays. But also I wanna go back to Colombia because Colombia is on my, uh, you make 500 a week from YouTube. No, it depends. Sometimes like when I was in Cuba, there's this one video I, I, I put on my YouTube, which was very viral. Mm -hmm. That is the video that helped me a lot about looking for Tupac in Cuba. I don't know if you guys saw that video. Aero America and Copa Airlines have cheap flights from Mexico City. Actually, I realized the cheapest flight is called uh, to, to travel with is uh, called, um, oh my God, Interjet, Interjet. Interjet is the cheapest flight I've ever used. Like even from Colombia to Mexico, it was the cheapest. And also from Mexico to Cuba, it was the cheapest. From Cuba to Mexico, Interjet. Yeah, I find Interjet is very, very good. Bob Jack says he has donated $5 and he says Namibia, South Africa, and Angola. So this is what I want to do, guys. Um, my plan was, this my innermost plan was like, I travel South America, then from South America, I'll go back to Africa. Then in Africa, I'll travel many countries in Africa and show you, like, really show you the real Africa. I'll show you, like, the real, real Africa, like how it is, the good places and the, you know, the other places, the dark-sided areas. And that was my plan. Like I traveled to South America and the country that I don't want to miss is Brazil, you know. Then from there, I'll go to Africa. Then from Africa, I'll go to Asia. That was like my ultimate plan. But man, I'm so like right now, now this girl here, she's telling me we need to go to Africa, you know, like, let's go, let's go. We want to go in December, but we need to book our flights in, in next month, August, actually. So you can imagine. Sometimes it's super difficult. That is D white, man. I've, I've, seen, I've seen your message. That is one boy 42. I've seen your message. I've seen your message. I've seen your message on Instagram, yeah. So it's really difficult sometimes because if I had a better passport, I would not worry about anything. I would just be traveling. Like I would just be going, you know? Is it true that Mexican girls are easy and horny? Uh, you know, if you have like really private questions you wanna ask me, Hit me on Instagram. Trust me, I try as much as possible to answer people on Instagram. Because sometimes people ask some man, can I, can I, can I find a hooker? You know, people ask me really crazy questions like, can I find a hooker in Colombia? Which place? Can I find a hooker in Cuba? Can I find this? Man, I can't answer those questions, you know. I can't answer those questions as here. But maybe if you hit me, if you hit me, if you hit me on my Instagram, you know, if you hit me on my Instagram and you say, man, 
I really want an honest answer from you. I can, you know. Yeah, I use Patreon, but I realize it's difficult to use Patreon as me because like my bank is in Africa. So the best way is uh, PayPal. Yeah, I use PayPal. PayPal has been my best way to, to get support. Yeah, and uh, I wanna say guys, man, thank you. There are a lot of people who support me. Like now there's one of my subscriber, he sent me a GoPro camera and not even a go, he sent me even a drone, man. He sent me a lot of things, man. But man, look at this girl, man. This was once my girl, yeah. If you guys dare me, I can call her like, hey, hola. Yeah, this was my girl. Here, yeah, she's Mexican. And you see, they're very, very beautiful, man. Super, super beautiful girls here in Mexico. This was once my girl, man. But that's what I'm telling you, like, I'm not fascinated by beauty because, man, I've seen beautiful girls. I've interacted with beautiful girls, even supermodels, even Playboy mansion models. I don't know if you guys saw this. Like, I've, I've had all those chances, you know, that an average guy would want to have. So I don't feel fascinated, like, whoa, why should I leave her? She's so beautiful. I'm not fascinated with that, man. Me, I feel like the most important thing is if a girl can support you, if a girl can be there for you, man. Omar, I want to give you a shout out, bro. Thank you for the three Canadian dollars, man. Muchas, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Mr. Rambo, 50 says, where are you from? I'm actually Kenyan, man. I'm African, I'm Kenyan, yeah. Just trying to live my life, to spread some positive vibe, man. Yeah, where is your paper link? Yeah, man, let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my new paper link uh, to, sorry, let me, 31. Yeah, let me see, yeah, that's my PayPal at Gmail. Gmail.com. Yeah, actually, even when I book my flights, I use, I use, I use I use my PayPal. Why? Because I, I don't have a credit card. Why? Is because I'm not a resident of any country, so I cannot get a credit card. I cannot get you know those cards that you pay then you use then you pay after. Yeah. Bob Jack says I'll send you an email. I'll be traveling to Bogota with my girlfriend and have a question on places to visit. I'm staying in Chapinero Alto. Yeah, actually, that's a very good place, Bob Jack, man. That's a very good place. Chapinero Alto is very, very good. But man, that's what you said, you're traveling with your girlfriend, it's still good, man. But I feel like you have to be very careful because in Colombia, if you go to clubs, you gotta be like, you know, you know. <laughs> I say you have to be very careful, Bob Jack, man, yeah. Colombia is a place where you go alone or with your boys, you know, yeah. So, yeah, so let me, let me, let me try to see this. Yeah, that's, that's my PayPal, you can see. So what was I saying, man? Like, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen like beautiful girls, man. I've, I've seen beautiful girls. But what I'm trying to I used to take? Here in Mexico, look, that's me right there. I look like, <laughs> like a lost boy, you know? Yeah, uh, you see the girls, they are like heartless. They have no shirts. The other one is right here, you see. Yeah, and I'm I'm there like I'm lost, you know. So beauty, actually, beauty does not fascinate me anymore, man. I've lived in Colombia where like every girl is like a supermodel. You know, Latin America, man, I would say Latin America has beautiful girls. And the good thing is uh, they're beautiful girls and they are somebody said they have chicken legs. <laughs> man, I have good legs, man. Look, I have good legs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is in Latin America, man, you, you meet very beautiful girls and down to us. That's the good thing about Latin America. They are chill. They are like relaxed. They don't pressure you that much. But this is, I have to warn you, especially guys coming from the rich countries, you know, we have to be honest. Rich economies. Sometimes these girls want you because of the money. So it's very good sometimes when you want to date these type of girls, you have to tell them like, look, I want to date you, but I want to stay in your country. You know, don't tell them, I want to date you, then take you to my home country. Trust me, they will leave you. I've met, you know, I'm a YouTuber, man. Every day I receive a lot of interactions. People tell me, man, I married this Colombian girl. I took her to my home in Atlanta. After some time, 
She changed, she became wild, she could not listen to me, she did everything, and now she, even she, we divorced, and you know. Just go stay there. You know, I know sometimes you guys need a job to sustain yourself and something like that. But if you speak English, you can work as an English teacher. You can, you can do a lot of things. Or if you have money, you can invest in a business, you know. Yeah, and you stay in their country. Like a country like Colombia is so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. It has like everything you need. It's fast internet. It's everything. Trust me. You know, I feel like people just get... The people, people have this fear, you know, the fear of unknown, like, what if I go and I don't have money? No, man. Yeah. Why are they shirtless? Yeah, we are just taking a photo. That is your one. We are taking just photos, man. Yeah. One of the girls, actually, you saw there, she's a Playboy, Playboy Mansion girl. Let me show you from Twitter. Not Twitter, from Instagram. Her name is Amber. Yeah, this is one of the girls you saw. Look, she has 539,000 followers. 500, you can imagine. So that's why I'm not fascinated, man. I'm, I'm not fascinated at all. I look at things as is here. I don't know, maybe you guys see her, yeah. That's like her lifestyle. That's how she, that's how she, she lives and everything, man. Like, that's her lifestyle. Yeah, this is the, one of the girls you saw in my photo. Yeah. So... Don't worry about beauty. Just get a nice girl that you feel comfortable with, a girl who supports you, man. What's the typical salary of an uh, English teacher? $500 a month, man, yeah. But if you can work with organizations that work with the government, it can be easy for you because some days you can have off. But if you work with a private institution, it is the hardest thing you can ever imagine in your life. Like me, I worked for two years. Man, it was tough, yeah. I feel so good, I feel, I feel so relieved working as a YouTuber than just being, a, being an English teacher. Man. But you know, sometimes, you know, you wanna be an English teacher because you want to achieve something, you know? You wanna go and teach English because you wanna meet some beautiful girls and, and, and get to know them, you know? That's the best thing about that. It's not that you're selling, you're selling yourself for that, no. You're trying, you're trying to trade, you know? You're trading, you're trading, you want to do this thing, but you know your main aim is this, you know. Yeah, people, people do many crazy things, man, to achieve what they want to achieve. You can go stay in Colombia, for example. It's a shame how women switch up on you when they get here. Yeah, exactly. You know, the funny thing is many, many of these girls, they have never seen even a Lamborghini, you know. And man, you tell you, you go, you do your scouting, you go pick a good, nice girl from a village somewhere and you take her to your country then when she's there she sees this guy billionaire with a tycoon with lamborghini and the lamp and the guy's like saying hey let's have some coffee trust me man you'll be left and it's it's a sad story but that's reality it happens yeah and that's why it's very good somebody says go to philippines no this i'll say from my own experience from what i've seen man in Colombia, there were Kenyans who have nothing, like they are poor. I, I, I'm sorry to use that word, but I'm trying to be realistic, man. I'm not trying to undermine anybody. But I saw like people who have nothing, like nothing, man. You, you're just a foreigner in a country, you have no money, you have nothing. But they had beautiful, nice families, man. Trust me. Yeah, they had beautiful, beautiful, nice. Families. I don't know if I can show you a picture. Sometimes it's not good to show this on the internet. But what I'm trying to say, man, is, what I'm trying to say is, you know, yeah, let me see here. Somebody's texting me. Uh, I had a date today, but I canceled it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to this girl. She texted me. Look, man, this is Mexico. She's texting me right now as we speak. Yeah. Uh, or if you guys don't believe me, uh, she's here. She's texting me right here. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry, man. She's taking my. She's taking my 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 time. You know. Oh, 
your mayor. She's supposed to come and visit me. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it's crazy, man. We're gonna have some coffee today. So somebody says, I'm a new subscriber. I have been, been watching all your videos after I've seen one. I actually been in El Poblado before, but anywhere else you go, I've never been. I will definitely be taking notes. Yeah, man. Colombia is really a nice place, man. Colombia is really, really nice. And you guys, you should visit Colombia. Yeah, you should visit Colombia. I'm trying to, you know, guys, you cannot multitask. That's the problem. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So let's do this. Go to Cali, Colombia. Actually, even Colombia is good. Somebody says, can you live in Bogota for $500? Yes, you can. That was my salary, man. That was my salary for two good years. In Medellin and Bogota, $500. But you know, when you have such money, you don't want to be this guy who is like blowing, you know, you go to clubs and be like, you know, hey, bring, no, man, you're gonna live to your means, you know? <laughs> Just be simple, you'll find a simple girl, a girl who will like you, man. Do you have a Mexican girlfriend? Yeah, that's what I started by saying. Yeah, that's what I started by saying. That's the best comment, yeah. That is what I started saying, yeah. So I don't know what she's saying. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Man, I'm upset. Nunca saludados, my brother. Man, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. Do you miss your family? Yeah, man, I miss my family, man. I've been I've been out of my home since February of 2016, man. So I feel like you guys should give me at least, you know, give me a day off. You know, you are my bosses. You guys like the dictates where I should go, where I should not go, and everything. Yeah, so. You guys like like give me the reason, man. You know, so I don't know if you guys will be okay if I I go to my home and you guys will still be watching me. Sometimes I'm afraid. Uh -huh. Yeah, sometimes I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I'll be like, maybe you guys will not like the content from Africa. Yeah. Do you have have you been to Carrera in Colombia? Is it Carrera or Pereira? Yeah. Have you been to Costa Rica? Not yet, man. That is live, die old. Live free, die old. Thank you, bro. A images from LA, man, bro. How, how are you liking your Mexican new neighborhood in Mexico? Yeah, it's actually very good. Uh, I feel Mexico is chill. You know, I feel like problems can come to you anywhere you are, man. You know, like insecurities, problems, they can come to you anywhere you are. So all you have to do is just be like smart, try to associate yourself with good people. Don't don't just be that guy who does not care. You know, like maybe you are new, you are drinking, you don't care if police here, you don't know even the laws of those areas. But you know, the best way to do is, yeah, Charles B says, have you been to Cartagena? I haven't, but Cartagena is one of the best, best places. Alexandra says, como esta la Havana? Alexandra, eh, hala. Havana is muy, muy bonita, pero vida is muy diferente allá. Tu necesita dinero efectivo, no cajero. Cajero son allá, pero no trabajo bien, okay? Yeah, I'm trying to answer, he speaks Spanish, so I have to answer him in Spanish. MG says, you did a great job showing every, everywhere you've been. Also, side note, thanks for being ins insp inspiration. Yeah, for being inspiration for people of color to travel. Sometimes, as black American are scared because of the stuff we see on TV. You know, actually me, I don't care, man. Even if, like yesterday I was working with this girl, she's over different, she's Latina, and I was holding her hand like this, and we were walking like the streets. I didn't care, I didn't care. Like, you know, you don't have to care, man, because if you care, you'll care about everything. You just, you have to care about everything. So all you have to do is, all the time, all the time, just be yourself, man. Don't think of the negative because as long as you give it a time, uh, you'll feel bad, man. Yes, see, 
Aka, Mr. Squirrel says, what's up, big for me, man? Thank you, bro. I really appreciate Educa educated uh, cowboy says, your Colombia vlogs helped me when I went to Bogota. Yeah, they help you a lot. You know, I try to be as honest as possible, man. I'm not that guy who fakes. I'm not that guy. You know, sometimes people say, oh, man, you talk to this girl and she said all these things. I think you gave her some money. Man, I don't do that, man. And even if, if people know, how do we support you? I'm a new subscriber. MG man, you can donate to this YouTube channel. You can watch my, you can watch those, uh, how do you call it? Uh, advertisements before videos play. You can support me on PayPal. You can share my videos, man. There are super many ways you can help me, man. Like I really appreciate for the new subscribers. Yeah, somebody just donated $5 and he has been my big supporter for a long time. That is S617, he says, while you're in Kenya, you should go to Madagascar. Those Madagascan women are very exotic. Have you been there? It looks amazing. Also go to Cape Verde. Yeah, I was watching a video about Madagascar, about this type of, uh, how do you call it? Some type of stones that they make, they, they try to find them in the rivers and sell. I was watching that documentary two days ago, man, and I looked at it. You know, when I go to Africa, I'll do a lot of African tour. I promise I'll do. And I think for me, it's very easy to travel like in Africa than to go to these other countries that I try to, yeah. They speak French, yeah. So maybe I'll have to learn French. <laughs> maybe I'll have to learn, I'll have to learn French, yeah. I'll have to learn French, yeah. I have, I have this very important to me, yeah. So, I'll buy a flight to Chile. Yeah, actually, Chile is also one of the good spots to go. But, you know, I'm in, I'm in uh, Mexico. I'm trying to see countries around Mexico, you know. I want to, to be traveling like from this neighbor to the next neighbor to the next neighbor to the next neighbor like that. I go to Costa Rica. I go to Panama. Then from Panama, I might, I might go to Barbados because it's close. Or from Panama, I can decide because I know my big flight will be from Panama. Maybe from Panama to Africa, from Panama to Asia, from Panama to some place I know, or from Panama to Brazil, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, what happened to your girlfriend in Colombia, man? I have to, be, I have to be very honest, man. You know, sometimes distance kills relationship, and you know, I have a big problem as a YouTuber and not just a YouTuber, a YouTuber who talks to many girls is a problem, man. Because even my current girlfriend, I swear, I wish I could show you messages. She tells me she does not like my job. <laughs> she tells me that. She tells me she does not like my job. And uh, I understand her. I feel what she feels because even you, if your girlfriend would be that girl who talks to thousands of other boys or hundreds of other boys, Man, you know, you'll feel, you'll feel somewhere insecure. And I feel that, and especially when I travel, you know, I'm a so free guy, man. I meet people, I take photos, I party. I, I'm not really like a party boy, like super party boy. Actually, I'm not, because most of the time I'm filming. So, but the fact is, man, many girls, I've broken up with many girls because I'm a YouTuber, just because of that. Because they want me close to them. You see, like right now, I have a girlfriend in Mexico City. So, and she's so serious with me and I feel like, man, she's that right girl for me, you know? I feel like she's so nice. She's, I already talked about her, I've shown her. But the problem is, man, if tomorrow I make an interview with another girl, she'll go crazy. She'll be like, man, yeah. And somebody, uh, I don't know, his name was, let me, let me, yeah, his name was, he's my big, my, my big supporter. He talks to me every time, I forgot his name. Best comment, yeah, his name is Best Comment. I know him by, oh, even he's here. Best comment, you remember, I don't know if it's you who told me to reach out this uh, YouTuber. Her name is Kenya. Yeah, Kenya Madido, something like that. She's Mexican. Yeah, I talked to her and she agreed on Tuesday we shall be doing a video. I hope everything goes well, yeah. She's a Mexican YouTuber, very sexy. She agreed we shall be doing a video with her on Tuesday. I don't know if it's you, but I think it's you. Yeah, I feel like it's you who told me about that. Don't let her jeopardize your business. 
if the ring girl is part of your business. Actually, yeah, I tell her every day, like, look, this is what I do. You met me doing this, and I meant to, I meant to lose her. It's hurt you. Uh, I know it's the, she was beautiful. Yeah, man. And in Colombia, I had, I had really beautiful girls, man. People like Sabina. I don't know if you guys remember Sabina. <laughs> yeah, she was really dope. Man, I had like, you know, so I'm this guy who gets and, you know, but I feel bad sometimes because that's not what I present. I need somebody who can be like just there and just there. Have you been to Brazil? No, bro, but it's on my hit list. Live free, die old says, go to Brazil next. San Pedro. Belize, Honduras, San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua, and then San Jose, uh, Limon, Costa Rica. Yeah, I fear Nicaragua because I have a drone, you know, I have a drone with me. So I fear Nicaragua. I may go to other places, but I fear Nicaragua. Yeah, I fear Nicaragua. So guys, uh, we have like 10 minutes to go. Maybe I'll go, I'll come back round two. Man, first, I want to say, man, thank you so much for people who have donated to my YouTube channel. You guys, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maurice, man, hit me. Do as you wish. Hit me on my Instagram, man. I will I'll appreciate a lot of people have donated to me today, a lot and a lot of people, man. I think today has been one of my best days from donations. Uh, Brandon says, Jumbo, go to DR, Brazil, and Thailand next, bro. And also, we have G-Will. G-Will has always been supporting me, man. Thank you. And when you are you are in Mexico, tell me, man. We can go out. We can, we can, you know, we can go try some crazy things. I really like when I meet my subscribers, especially honest subscribers, man. You know, I want honest people. That's who I am. I'm so honest. And you know, last time I told you I met this subscriber. I helped him. We stayed with him like for three months. I helped him get a girlfriend in Colombia, but he robbed me one thousand three hundred dollars. So you can imagine. You know, sometimes. You guys know me, but I really don't know you much. And sometimes people people reach me with bad intentions, man. So sometimes I have to be very careful who I'm meeting, who I'm not meeting, you know. So, yeah, let me read this comment. Uh, the Geo Scholar says, Kulian Khan has a baseball team called Tomatoes in Cali. Yeah, but it's, it's, I didn't really understand it very well. She works, she makes. Her money, yeah, yeah, that is Giovanni. Yeah, the girl works, she makes her money. But you know, if she comes to my life, she has to stop that. Yeah. And sometimes you don't wanna make wrong decisions, man. You don't wanna make like, you get this girl, then maybe she's too arrogant or she's too crazy. She's not understanding, you know? So sometimes, but all I know is like relationships, most of the time is we, we try to, we try to, we, we try to gamble. Relationship, actually, it's a gamble business. And all the time you have to pray, man. You have to pray and say, man, you know, give me the best. Because you may think this girl is the best, but after some time, man, she's like the biggest problem in your life. She puts you into trouble. She drinks a lot. She doesn't care. Or maybe you have a baby with her and she changes. You know, it's crazy, man. So it's like a gamble, actually. Relationships are gamble. Relationships are gamble, yeah. Relationships are really, really gamble. Let me try to answer. MG says, how long did it take you to learn Spanish? So actually I learned Spanish from the streets. I learned Spanish from the streets. So I use translators, I still use translators. Yeah, and... Uh, but I'll say is the best way to do, even the best way to go to these countries is to go as a student, actually. You brought that good, yeah. Uh, the best way to go to these countries, Spanish speaking countries, is to go as a student. Because when you go as a student, it's super easy. People don't ask you crazy questions. What are you doing here? How will you do this? Yeah. Um, sorry, let me want. Sorry, I'm trying to answer somebody here. It's like banging me with a lot of messages. So, so sometimes it's crazy. Yeah, the best way to go to these Spanish countries is to, is to go as a student, actually. You can, you can go for three months. Three months is a very good period, man. Look, 
I've been in Mexico for just, I think, a week. Not a week, uh, Mexico City. I've been here like for two weeks and I already have a girlfriend, man. It's about your vibe. Be fearless, go out, express yourself, man. Speak. If she doesn't like you, she doesn't like you. It was not meant to be. Don't harm. Don't be like, oh, you know, there's this girl I talked to. She was so nice. Then she's not replying my text anymore. Man, let her go, man. Let her go. Keep moving, you know. That's all we say. Keep moving, man. Hey, Mr. Rambo 50, man. Thank you. Says keep doing your thing, man. I really appreciate it, bro. The best thing you can do is just share my videos, guys. You can help me. I want to reach. before August end is to reach 50,000 subscribers. I'm like 14,000 short subscribers. But uh, you know, it's very easy to reach that. If maybe 50 people shares to five of their friends and they subscribe, we are already there, you know, we are like really moving over there. So, yeah. But uh, somebody says, did he, did he did a video about being robbed. Yeah, I did a video about how some, he was my subscriber. He came to Colombia. He called me, man, he told me, I've been watching you. I want you to, Amy. Yeah, Amy is single, Emily. Emily, she's single. Yeah, she's single. But I, th I think I couldn't date her because my lifestyle is so different with her. She's more a reserved girl. She's this type of girl who wants you to go and pick her and go with her too. The thing is, before I met my girlfriend, I hit on Jessica and some other girl, two girls, and they were friends, but I didn't know they were friends. So when this when Jessica showed this other girl about me, then this girl was like, this guy texted me. It was like, boom. But the good thing is I was not dating Jessica. I just reached on her, like, let's make a video. Yeah, because she's an actress and she has like positive vibe, yeah. So I'm not dating Jessica. And mostly, you know, I try to keep it professional. You can imagine if, Every girl you sing on my video, I'm trying to date her. It's it's not good, you know. Even it's not healthy. Yeah. To be to be very honest, is man. You know, I don't have be because maybe my girlfriend may watch this. I call her my girlfriend, and it's not yet clear. You know, it's it's just that I feel like she has given me too much. That I she deserves that title, man. She has been like staying with me every weekend since I came to Mexico City. She tells her dad lies just to be here with me. She cleans, she buys food, she does everything, man. She buys drinks, she pays transport, and she's super supportive. You know? Yeah. Hola, this is California. Como estas? Soy Sam. Estoy bien, mi amigo. Como vas? Todo bien? So, yeah. Yeah, guys, you can also follow me on Instagram, you know, because sometimes I do, I do, I, I do things on Instagram that I don't regularly post on YouTube because YouTube for me now, I take it as very professional. I don't just put things there. How do you meet your girlfriends? So actually, the best way to meet people is to go out or sometimes you walk in the streets and you meet a very beautiful girl and you say, hey, excuse me, I want to talk to you. And most of the time it happens positively. Yeah, trust me. If you say, excuse me, I want to talk to you, most of the time they stop. They talk to you. They say, hey, tell me. Yeah. So, and if you have like positive vibe, don't show her like you're hungry. You know, a lot of people is when you meet a very beautiful girl, you'll be like, so hungry, do this. Just come up with a story, man. Tell her some good stories about your life. Tell her maybe your aspiration, what you think. Discuss some topics, you know, positive topics. She'll be there, man. We need to get you to 100,000 subscribers. MG, that is my dream, man. That's like my dream, yeah. G Will says you'll get there in no time, bro. 50K subscribers, man. Thank you, guys, you know. And I have people who really support me a lot, and I feel like I owe you. I feel like maybe one day I should meet you and we go out, you know. We go just party, me and you, and we spoil. <laughs> yeah, man, people support me, and they have been supporting me for a long time, yeah. So, guys, I want to take a short break. Maybe I'll be back. And, man, I want to say, man, thank you. Thank you so much for those people who have, like, donated to this YouTube channel. People like G Will. And even not just donating. Yeah, some people donate to me through PayPal. Some people, like, man, even liking my videos, sharing my videos. Man, that's the support. 
How is Colombia in November, December? December is not a good time to go. Hudson, at least November is good. December, no. Why? Everybody in Colombia, they go back to the villages. The cities are empty. Please don't go. It's better you go and jump in February is the best time. February is good. Yeah, February, a time like now is very good because there are no big holidays. But as I speak right now, people in Colombia are on holidays. Yeah. So, and Cuba, man, I got a lot of fans from Tupac, a lot of subscribers from the Tupac video, man. I'm going to say thank you and thank you for so many people who support me. And we have, we also have a lot of females who watch us, man. Just believe like we can do something. I know I provide good information. I show you good videos and that's why people watch me. Yeah, and actually I think today our channel will hit 15 million views. Trust me, 15 million views. 15 million views, you can imagine. Let me show you this guys. 15 million views today. It's, it's, it's close to that, so it's so close to that. It's, um, it's, it's heading there, actually, it's heading there. Yeah, you, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's, it's 14,976. 14,99, yeah, 14.9, it's going to 15 million, yeah. Somebody says, Mark, Mark says, you are my travel idol, bro. Man, just travel, man, don't. And I feel, this is what I feel, I feel like, our biggest problem is fear, fear. Like, oh, what if I run out of money? I went to Cuba, I had money, I had like $500. I flew, I flew from Cancun to Havana. But once I was in Havana, I had like $500 with me and my credit, not my credit, my cards, my ATM cards did not work. So you can imagine you are in a, a place where even people cannot send you money. Mohammed from Algeria, man. I appreciate you watching me, man. I really appreciate. Thank you so much. Share, share my videos to your friends, man. Yeah, you cannot live in Mexico until you go to a real, to real the Katori. I think I'll, I'll try to see, man. I'll try to go to those places. Yeah, you know, sometimes most of the time as a YouTuber, I spend a lot of time editing videos. I spend much time like trying to discover places. Love from uh, Dallas, man. Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate guys. And um, what's going on, man? Yeah, I think that's why that message has been like, yeah. It's, it's good, bro. Yeah, it's good, man. I have no problem. So I wanna say, man, just travel. I feel like even our parents our, are one of our biggest like problems because we always want to see like what will be my, what will my mom say what will my i'm going to colombia my dad will be like oh people tell you stories like it's dangerous man go man if if you want to die you'll die so if you can die anywhere you can you can die anywhere don't fear don't have that mentality like oh just go man pack have your best camera have something put your bag and say me i'm gone and you go don't look black and say you know Oh, I left my dog. Oh, I left. Those things will ever hold you like this. Yeah. The best thing is just to go. Just go, man. Don't apologize. Just go. And when you go to new places, you try as much as possible to learn their culture as fast as you can. Yeah. As fast as you can. Trust me. Because sometimes, maybe in your home country, it's very normal to spank a girl in a club. But other countries, you can't do that. So the best thing is to learn. Let's give this video a like, man. Let's give this video a like. Yeah, before, yeah, I see we have 58 of us. Let's give it a like. And man, I'm gonna say thank you. I can say the money friend anime says, lol. Live free, die all says, you're right. They watch TV and believe everything they say. In reality, it's not like that. Yeah, this is what I always feel. I always feel like, if a situation has happened to your life, it's not a mistake. Let's say you in a, a place and people rob you a phone. It was just meant to be. Don't even think about it. Just forget about it and move forward. Because 
If you hold on, like, you know, my friend went to Mexico and he was robbed a phone. So you have already that negative thing. Don't have it, man. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And trust me, even if you keep your phone where, where, if somebody is to steal you, he will steal you, you know? So what I'm trying to say is, don't try to see the negative thing. See the positive side. Look at it like maybe you may go to Colombia, you may go to Mexico and come back home with a girlfriend, man, smiling and... Or even not even a girlfriend, you'll have experience. You'll, it's, it's, a, it's a story of your life, man. You'll say, you know, I've been to Colombia. I went this year. It was like this. It was like this, you know? Yeah. Uh, bro, please show us Kenya where you are from. You deserve that credit of, for making uh, for making you the person you are. Man, and that's why I was telling you when I started this video is I was not sure where to go. Why? Because there's this movie I want to shoot in Kenya. How can I donate? So you can you can donate through YouTube channel or through PayPal. I don't know if you have PayPal that is leave free die all, or you can click this dollar sign at the comment box. Then you can donate to anything, man. Anything I'll really appreciate. And I can see my my moderator that is South Comfort says sixty two watching only thirty seven likes. Yeah, so he's trying to say let's give the video a like. And guys, I I feel humble. I feel humble, man. I'm an African guy. From Africa, you know, like where you don't expect. But I'm traveling, man. I'm in Mexico as a tourist. You know, sometimes I meet people from Europe, I meet people from, you know, the elite class countries, and they ask me, hey, where are you from? I tell them I'm from Africa. What are you doing here? I tell them I'm traveling. You know what they tell me? They tell me, oh, that is sick. I swear before God. That's what they say, like, oh, man, look, you're from, you're traveling? That is sick. I meet girls from Israel, China. You know, when you travel, sometimes you sleep in hostels, you travel as a group. And man, the best way I can say, you know, the biggest fear is money. How can you make money? If you have that money, man, don't care. Hit the road, man. Life is too short for you to be like, you know, I wanted to go next, next July, but I'll make it uh, September. Don't be that guy. Book the flight, even if even if what happens, even if it rains on that day, take your flight, man. Go. Look, I go to countries with zero connections. I'm in Mexico. I looked for this house alone. You go online. Everything is online, man. Go online, place to stay, do this, you know? Yeah. So you, you don't have to have that fear like, oh, come on, man. Just go and experience. Tell people your story. Tell people like, I went to Mexico, this happened. Not like my friend went, no. Or the TV has been showing. But I realized one thing. This is one thing I've realized in my travel. You see, the most dangerous places, people say they are dangerous, they have the most beautiful girls. That is like out of my experience. Places where people say like, it's super dangerous. It's like, don't go, don't go. Those areas have the most beautiful unexploited girls, like so beautiful. That is out of my own experience, man. That's what I've learned from time to time. Let's give this video 50, 50 likes, man. Just four people, I'll be okay, just four people. I think for me, one of the best cities you can go and find really, really beautiful girls, man. It depends what you're looking for. If you want like slim models, Colombia will give you that. If you want girls with big assets, you know, uh, yeah, I have a lot of messages. So if you want like girls with assets like this, go to Cuba. And you see places like Cuba, they offer you like everything. They offer you like black, white, blonde, mixed, everything. Even Colombia, all this Caribbean. And you see the good thing about these women of the Caribbean or Latin girls is, man, yeah, I can see Live Free has donated, says, I love international travel myself. Keep traveling and make sure you live free and die old. Man, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is super good. Super, super good, man. You see, I gave, I gave a like. Man, thank you, George, man. Thank you. Yeah, let's do one like and that would be 50. Matt Tejada says, Colombian women are sexy. I need to go to Medellin as well. If it's your first time to visit Colombia, I'll recommend Medellin. But if it's your second, third time, try to go to Bogota, Colombia. 
Why? Not many people go to Bogota, Colombia. And even if people go to Bogota, Colombia, that city is so huge that they cannot, they cannot dilute it. It's so big that you'll have to find what you're looking for, you know? Yeah. Do you drink or smoke? I don't smoke actually, like I don't smoke anything. But I respect people who smoke, especially people who smoke marijuana. I have no problem. Even my girlfriend in Colombia they used to smoke marijuana in my room. But I drink. But I don't drink like I go like, oh no. I drink the sober, sober one that I can drink and still film. Yeah. So I take two, three thoughts. You know, I, I drink moderately. I don't like really rush on life. I take life like smooth, you know. I take life like I still have tomorrow, I still have the, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so Brendan says, uh, oh, Fela Velas in Rio de Janeiro has the, some beauties. I'm going to Brazil, man. I pray, and you guys don have donated to me. You see this money? I'll convert it to my flight tickets. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys who have like really, really like supported me. And man, somebody saying boring, or do you do any hard drugs? You know, actually, me as me, I am I am a spontaneous guy. I don't know how you say spontaneous. I don't know if I'm spontaneous. I'm like this guy who is so fearless. And when I was growing up, I was that guy. I wish my peers would be here watching. I was that guy that people would say, hey, Maro, go and, go and uh, talk to that girl. Take her number. I'll buy you lunch today. I was that guy. I was that guy that my friends would send me to go pick numbers for them for the most elite girls in my university. Like, oh, you see that girl, she's so classy. Please go and take the number and I was that guy, man, yeah. So guys, uh, I wanna say thank you. Cartagena has the best women. Yeah, Cartagena is on Colombia. The word Colombia, man, Colombia takes it all, yeah. Chris Stock says, which city was the easiest to meet women? So it depends, man, it depends. If you want a girlfriend, if you want, uh, just for a night, you know? But I feel like my own, this is my own opinion. Colombia will give you everything, man, especially Bogota. And you guys who are going to Bogota, I have a friend who I can connect you, who can show you like the nightlife and he will take you to the good and bad areas so that you know the city like in and out. So if you guys wanna talk, if you wanna go to Bogota, Colombia, all you have to do is buy this guy drinks and pay a taxi. Like, let's say you're traveling from one club to another, you pay that taxi and you buy him a drink. No cash money, nothing. You don't have to pay that. Like, if you're buying your drink, you buy him. That's all, like, I did, I told him, like, all I need from him is just to support me because I have a lot of people who travel to Colombia or other places where I've been. Even in Cuba, if you wanna go, I have a guy who can help you, yeah. Everywhere you know that I've been to, I have people who can help you, man. If you wanna go to Cuba, especially Havana, tell me, I'll connect you to one of my good friends there. He'll show you around, he'll take you to places. You know, I mean places, I mean like those places you go and be like, yeah. So you wanna see people in the streets walking, normal people. You also wanna see those small corners, you know, I, because that's, that's exactly what those cities present. I'm not this type of guy who goes to areas and just like chill and go to a club or go to that cafe with like a uh, laptop. I'm not that guy. I go deep, I go like, you know, I talk to locals, I interact. And that really makes me, that is Paul Alexandra says, hi man, Paul, how are you bro? Johnny Deep says, how much money do you make from YouTube a month? Yeah, man, that's really a touchy subject because when you talk about money, it's really, I don't want to talk about it so much because, but I'll say on average, on average, I can above $800, above, yeah. Because sometimes people donate to me and sometimes I make viral videos, yeah. At least $800, at least. And you know, I'm a lone ranger, I'm, I'm a single guy. Okay, I don't know if I'm single, I'm taking up just 50-50. So, but sometimes, Aren't you scared getting robbed? That is the last thing that I'm scared about. I don't care. Me, I'm like, let them come rob me. Yeah. You know, I feel like if I put that fear, it will happen. So I don't even think about it. I carry a drone. I carry a big camera. I carry my cell phones. I carry everything. Even, I have to tell you this, sometimes I carry cash money. Sometimes. Yeah. But I don't care. 
You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Tinder is different in Colombia. Tinder is different in Colombia. Is it like a question? I'll say this, Tinder in Mexico, there are no many hookers. Tinder in Colombia, too many hookers, too many hookers. Like after every swipe, hooker, hooker, hooker. Mexico, no hookers. You can find transgender girls, that's the crazy thing. So you have to be very careful. They are transgenders, you have to be super careful about that. Yeah. So, yeah, Cartagena, Costa Rica. I wanna go to Costa Rica. MG says, don't be afraid to talk about talk money. You deserve everything you get. Yeah, man. I know, man. You know, last time, I don't know, maybe you're new to this channel. Last time I talked about money, the whole money I talked about it, one of my subscribers actually robbed me. I already talked it. You can, you can search on YouTube, like, YouTube fan robs a YouTuber in Colombia. You'll see that video. It will explain to you how it, it went down, man. I met a subscriber. I helped him find a girlfriend. He was so good. We stayed for three months together. Like we didn't stay like in the same house, but in the same city. We used to meet. We used to hang out. We used to talk to girls. We used to do everything. But man, I trusted him a lot. I gave him one thousand three hundred to buy me a laptop because I didn't have a laptop to edit my videos. The guy disappeared. But there's a story. Just check that video. Just check that video. You, you'll see a lot of those stories. And uh, sometimes it's sad when I remember that story. I uh, share people out here. Yeah, man. So sometimes that's why I, I don't like to talk about money or I just I, I just feel comfortable to say like I'm okay, man. Yeah, I'm okay. The laptop story. Yes, I saw. It was yeah. So yeah, man. So. Yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, I don't know if I'll come back to, to do another another video, but I'll say, man, hey, I want to I wanna inspire you, man. Don't sit there 24 hours just working and working. Take that break, man. You know, we live one life, man. You are not a prisoner to that work. Take that break. Go to Cartagena. Take your shirt off, man. It does not care if you have a six pack or you don't. Just take your shirt off. Walk, man. Talk to these girls. Say, hola, come on, start. Don't be shy. Don't be like, oh, you know. Just do it, man, because you never know about tomorrow, you know. You never know about tomorrow. You may wake up tomorrow and you don't have legs. What will you do, man? Somebody says, mambo, that is uh, forever. Kamuto. Poor sana, Bariako. Yeah, that is Swahili. You know, I speak Swahili. I speak Spanish. I speak Swahili. I speak English. <laughs> yeah, man. He's speaking Swahili because Swahili is from my home country. Poor sana, Bariako. Yeah, that is forever. Katumo. Yeah. So, what I'm trying to say, yeah, I, I see live, live free, die old. I say, man, don't be afraid, man. Just do it. Yeah. You never know about tomorrow. Today you have money in your bank account. Tomorrow somebody is sick and you've paid everything. Yeah. So somebody says you aren't interested in the Southern Asia trip for, for a trip. I'm interested about it, but I feel like I want to do fast South America, man. I feel like South America has a lot to offer. And this I've already said talked about this. It will be South America, Africa, Asia. That's how I will do it. Then from there. I'll come and settle in one of these countries in South America. I want to live in South America, man. Like, man, it's, it's so chill. You know, it's that place where life is cheap and you live stress-free. Yeah. So, man, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for showing much love. Uh, you and Jebro would be crazy collabo. Yeah, that guy does not want to make collabos with me, man. Yeah, that's GM. I try to ask him why he doesn't make collabs with me. Yeah, I think, let's just be honest, I feel like he fears me, he fears. He fears like if we do a collab, many of his subscribers will be my subscribers. And now he doesn't want, I've reached him many times. But the funny thing is, man, you know, me, I'm not scared. I do, I do, I do collabs with people with 50 subscribers, 300 subscribers, even other people. I open YouTube channels for them. Yeah. I tell people, man, please subscribe to this guy. Let's let's help him reach 100, his first 100 subscribers. And people support, man, a lot of people. Even I've done with a lot of girls who even didn't have any subscribers. Now at least they have 
subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, ask him, ask him why he doesn't want to do collabs with me. He was in Colombia. I tell him, let's meet, bro. He doesn't. But the funny thing is this, man. Actually, that guy has more subscribers than me, but I have more views than him. I'm telling you today, I'll reach to, tonight, I'll reach like 15 million views, and that guy has like 3.4, yeah, 3.4 million. So, and YouTube is not about subscribers. YouTube is the community, how they engage, how they talk. But it's good when I have sub, when you have many subscribers because you can work with companies. Company like now, this company I'm wearing here. Yeah, it's called Law. If you you search loyalty, the company. So like this company sponsored me. Like it sent me these clothes so that I could I could talk I could talk to. I could talk about their company. That's the good thing about having subscribers. And also, it's good when you have subscribers because when you upload a new video, nobody knows about it. You have to be the first about it. That's why all, most of the time we say like, hey, uh, put the notification so that you don't miss. Go to Dominican Republic. That says from LA. Yeah, from C, LA says go to Dominican Republic. Are your family with the Mau Mau of Kenya? <laughs> yeah, Mau Mau. <laughs> Brandon, yeah. My family actually lives at the border of Kenya and Tanzania. So when I grew up, I grew up in two like countries, Kenya and Tanzania, because we would go to Tanzania shopping. It's a walking distance. But when I go back home, guys, I'll show you, I'll show you Africa. I'm not afraid where I'm from, man, you know? I remember sometimes I was in Colombia and other African guys would tell the girls that they are British African, you know? like. <laughs> I had friends who they would lie to girls like me, I'm British American, or I am, you know, me, I don't. I tell I tell I tell the girl I'm African, I'm Kenya, I'm this. So love me or hate me, take me or leave me. That's who I am, man. And I think that has helped me a lot. You know, the first thing is to accept yourself. You know, sometimes we guys, maybe people want to travel, but you feel like you're not fit. Maybe you, you don't have good muscles, you'll be like, Hey, will she like me? Or I have like a big belly. Will she like? Come on, man. Face your fears. Do it. Do it. Let her say, I don't like you. At least you feel comfortable. You'll be like, okay. Yeah. So, guys, let me not bore you, man. Let me say bye. And, man, I'll see you in my next one. I'll see you in my next video. Is there a passport heavy guy? Yeah, that's the passport heavy guy. Try to ask him why he doesn't collaborate with me. Yeah. I think maybe you guys can push him to collaborate with me. I'm very open. I'm very ready to collab with him anytime, man. But he doesn't. He doesn't like. I don't know, man. So I want to say bye and uh, thank you for everybody for showing up. Thank you for the donations, man. I really appreciate, man. I think it has been one of the best days in my YouTube career. I've received donations. Uh, live free, die old, man. Thank you so much for ten dollars. Also, let me give other shout outs here. John Williams, man, I didn't even see you. Two dollars, man. Thank you so much, John. Anyway, wherever you are, man, I really appreciate. We also have uh, S617, uh, man. Thank you so much, and I really, really appreciate your donation. And uh, we have a lot, actually, a lot of people donated today. We have Omar uh, from Canada. He donated some Canadian dollars. Thank you, bro. Bob Jack, he has always supported me. I really appreciate, bro. And we have Morris, man, you won the day. Do as you wish. That is your message. Thank you so much, bro. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Yeah. But I'll say still, I'll have to put Cuban videos because I still have those videos on my laptop. So I'll have to release them. I think the whole of this coming week, then that will be the end of Cuba. Then I'll be focusing on Mexico. Then maybe next Sunday, I'll tell you if I'll be, which country I'll be traveling to next. And man, give this video a like before we say bye, man. Just click that like and thank you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate and thank you for everybody. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for the interaction. It has been so nice. And man, I'll just say, man, God bless you and wherever you are, man, share my videos. That's how you support me, man. If you didn't, you didn't donate anything, don't feel bad, man. I still love you. My subscriber, you watched me. You've been a subscriber, man. You support me. So yeah, Mr. Uh, later on, I can see you. See you next Sunday on our live stream. Yeah. Thank you.